Hello all. Welcome to the first uh, of a series of videos about web messaging SDK commands. Uh, my name is Michael, and I'm a software developer working on Genesis Cloud, specifically the web messaging SDK and journey tracking. Uh, the commands will go over um, control journey tracking features uh, that you can use to enhance uh, the events and data being captured by predictive engagement uh, during your customers' web visits. Um, using these commands effectively is uh, important for improving customer and agent experience. And also one added benefit to knowing these commands and using them well is that they greatly help when designing and troubleshooting instrumentations using predictive engagement. Um, so the commands are page view, record, um, record, forms track, and we have four commands to track clicks, idle time, scroll depth, and element visibility. Um, if you've watched my um, colleague Ranjit's dev drop video um, about messenger deployments and configurations, uh, you may have noticed Apps tab when working in the configurations view. Apps tab is, is the place where uh, customer journey insights and, and journey tracking can be enabled. And once this change is deployed to your website, uh, the journey plugin gets initialized and its commands will be available for us to use. Uh, the first command we'll have a look at is page view. Um, the page view events will probably be make up uh, probably make up the majority of the events you'll capture. Um, by default, the journey tracking sends one page view soon after the page loads and one page view for every URL change. If you wanted to override this behavior or if you wanted to um, affect or change the data that is being sent in page view events, um, page view command will be uh, very handy for you to use. Uh, so currently on the screen, what you should see is on the, on the left-hand side is uh, one of our demo sites. And on the right-hand side, is admin view showing live now page with the list of current um, website visitors. So I know that uh, we're the first ones on the list. And just to confirm that, if I were to click on some links on the on the demo site, what we should see is uh, yes, that the page views are being posted. So currently we have three pages in this session: home page, auto insurance, and home insurance. Um, what's paid? What would in a very brief, what was posted in the page view is a page title and the page location, both available for us to override. Um, so uh, let's try maybe to issue some of the um, page view commands. So the first one, um, the first thing we will do is uh, just type in the word, the keyword Genesis. That's the uh, web messaging SDK uh, main function, main command. And this one, and takes several arguments. The first argument is command. So um, the genesis is really responsible for uh, not only issuing commands, but also um, subscribing to events, meeting events, uh, um, and uh, registering plugins, all that kind of stuff. But we're going to use command. And the next argument is a target for the command. In our case, this is going to be a journey plugin. So uh, the name of the plugin is journey always the same, and then a dot, and then after there was a page view, and that's the command name. So if I were to issue this without any arguments, and again, and again, it seems to have worked, but nothing is changing on the graph, and nothing's changing because uh, we've already posted a page view like that. So we already have uh, a track showing a page view for home insurance as a title, and then the home insurance as the URL. So, not much is changing on the graph, but if you'll notice that the list, the, the number of page views in this current session is increasing. So if every time I post, we're increasing. So screen. Now, um, the, probably the most popular use of the page view command is to override the title, the page title. So in order to do that, what we can do is uh, just uh, add in some overrides here. Page title is one of them, and we can post one with overwritten title. If I were to post that, as you can see, new track is created with this, this as a title and also the same URL as we have in overwritten. So, uh, the way that's useful, the, the reason why that's useful is, for example, um, if you want to post only relative titles, uh, or for example, if your website. Uh, or company name is, is, is fairly long and it's always prefixed in the page titles, um, then uh, you might want to strip that. 
so that the agent looking at this view is only presented with what's really important to them. So uh, the title uh, being uh, yeah, important to the title showing what, what the visitor was actually looking at. And uh, the space here that we've designed to, to show the title is, is, is an image. So that's one thing we can override. The second thing we can override is page location. So this is how we would do that. And the easiest way is to use relative page locations. So for example, uh, we're going to use it relative to the current uh, current view page. And so I'm putting some, some path uh, file name HTML and maybe a query para. So if I were to post that, I'll overwrite the title as well so that we can see it on the separate track. So as you can see, this is now posted. The overwritten title two, and then the um, the URL that we've chosen. So some path file name and then the query para. Just let see that. But this is what you can see the to do on it. Not overridden page location, overridden page location. So as again, you can post um, these with overridden page location. So what uh, what the system is designed to do uh, is if you wanted to post not the relative ones but the full page location, the system is designed to not allow overriding protocol and um, the um, the host domain. So uh, let's try what we should be viewing this through is uh, HTTPS, that's our protocol. So let's try and post page view of written title three. So you can again see them in a separate track, HTTP in, as a protocol and maybe um, another domain.com and some path. And then if I were to post a page view like this, Again, it results with a new track being created. Title is correct, but the system defaults back to the current protocol, the actual protocol, and then the actual host serving the request. The rest of it, the rest of the URL is left intact. So if you override it, the, the overrides will still be there. So yeah, that's a very beautiful review, how, how you use a page view and how you issue commands and how these uh, commands affect what data is being sent. So um, Please have a look around, see um, what we can uh, make out of it, and uh, also have a look at our other videos uh, in this series to learn about other commands. So, thank you very much. Thank you for watching.